In a move that the DTA president, McHenry Venani, thought would help him better understand and interact with the community when he moved to the informal settlement of Fombili, has received many criticism. Here is Venani's reaction to this issue. To sleep in a shack for me is not an experience. Every black person should have slept in a shack. But to use a plastic bag in an urban area as a toilet, that is an experience. I've accessed over 375 people in three days. So those that are saying it's a stand, this, that, and they, are, they are really worried because I could also argue that I have taken wind out of their sails. This has never been done. Venani traded the luxuries of his upper market Hockland Park home to reside in this humble, one-roomed shack last week. We asked Venani as to what he would change or improve on should he be elected as the president of the country. When I reach Vision 2030, these young people will not ask me and say, you, you are part of the system, you are part of the leadership of this country. What did you do to my, to, to, to my case? These people, these young children also demand a fair share of the, a Namibia that needs to grow. I'm not only going to talk to, business, to, to, to poor people or poor communities, I'm also talking to business communities to create a balance between the rich and the poor so that we narrow the gap. And we can only narrow the gap of communities when we access them, when we understand what they go through. According to Venani, he has received invitations from various families to come visit them and possibly spend a night or two. During the course of this month, the youthful president has plans to visit communities in the Zambezi region as well as miners in Orangemund as he continues his mission to connect with people at grassroots level. I come from that humanist angle.